Hi, this is Jason Lunker. Welcome to Famous People That Are... <clears throat> Today, Famous People That Are... <clears throat> I'll be talking about four big playoff... No, playoff buzz, player buzz for the Seattle Seahawks. With one being Brian Bosworth. Yes, I love Brian Bosworth and Stone Cold. I like him in other things that aren't, you know, Seahawk related. But let's face it, that guy was a big bust, like, um, in the NFL. I'm sure he had his name in the light for the Seahawks for, what, 87 to about early 89. But still, wasn't just getting your name in the lights isn't enough for to be part of like a great, a, a good Seahawk team. We, the Seahawks got him in a supplemental draft back in '87, and let's just say, let's just say, in the supplemental draft, we should have got someone better, like say, I don't know, Bo Jackson, in that draft. He should have been just a pro wrestler in the '80s. He, he had the he had the great gimmick of the boss. He had he had the haircut, the build, and the body. He could have been like Hulk Hogan's bizarro heel character. Just saying. The next one I'm figuring about is Rick Meyer. Chris Burton said it best about this flop of a quarterback. Rick wallowing into the mire because he's always in the mire. Always folded under pressure. And I still to this day don't know why he won AFC Rookie of the Year back in 93. Even as a Seahawk fan, I felt kind of skeptic. Because Drew Bledsoe should have won that Rookie of the Year. Because back in '93, we all know Bledsoe is going to be number one no matter what team he landed on, whether it be the Patriots or the Seahawks. And the Patriots got the top pick because the Seahawks won a head-to-head matchup against uh, the Patriots. Imagine if we lost to the Patriots uh, that year, we would have won 15. We would have got Drew Bledsoe, and the rest would have been history. And the third big flop. For the draft I'm thinking about, the, the third big flop, Aaron Curry. Now there's a linebacker, I think Tatupu was injured at that point, and he's like, the problem is, like, Lofu Tatupu, he's a great player, he's on the field, but he's off the field, well, not off the field, but when he's injured, he's a liability, so we had to get or places for Tatupu with uh, Aaron Curry, and Aaron Curry just did not deliver as a Seahawk. Shame. And the last one, I'm thinking, the last one for the big uh, bust for the Seahawks is James Carpenter from Alabama. Carpenter was a guy from offensive lineman from the great, like Nick Saban teams of Alabama, of that great dynasty Alabama with coached by Nick Saban. You would think with all the preparation for Nick Saban being in a great college like Alabama that he would like do very well as a lineman for the Seahawks but turns out turned out to be a big bust didn't didn't perform like we expect him to perform and plus he made Russell Wilson like look suspect in the coverage so there were my four big flops of the Seahawks late